Hello and welcome to our revolutionary new and improved desktop application. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the installation procedures to get the software started. You can see I have the software right here. All I need to do is double click on the software. It might be in your downloads, wherever it is you find it on your computer, just double click on it and then the installation procedure will start. So right here, you should get a feedback response asking you if you want to allow the software to make changes to your computer. When this message pops up, you will click on yes. Once you click on yes, you should get this message that this, this system is verifying the installer. Please wait while setup is loading. So we're going to be patient, we'll wait for this to play out and then we'll move to the next stage. So we have this um, dialog box right here. All we need to do is click on install. So while this is installing, you have to be patient and wait for it to, to complete the installation. I'm going to pause this video and allow this installation to complete and then we'll continue. There is nothing more to be done in between. It's just for us to wait for it to complete for this status bar to move to the end. All right. The installation is complete and the next thing we're going to do is click on finish right here. So once you click on finish, the software is going to run automatically. So it's going to ask you if you want this app to make changes, of course, click on yes. So once you click on yes, immediately the desktop application is going to launch. ProPS will launch and then you can log in and start your operations. This is the login page of the software. As I said in the beginning of this video, this is an installation procedure video. So once you're, you're brought to this place, we, there are different logins that we're going to talk about and how you can set everything up. We have the if you are a, a, a business owner that has just one computer in their in their store or their shop or place of business you do not need to do anything all you have to do is just input your username and password and you're good to go but if you have more than one computers in your place of business you will need to do the following setups that i'm going to explain in the next few seconds so if you click on settings right here you're going to see allow service point if you have more than one computer you can click on allow service point and then you're going to notice we have a change here in our login screen you can see there's now a login type here and we have two different types of login the first is the service point and the second is the service point admin what is the service point and what is a service point admin? These are terms I'm going to explain to you. A service point is a sub-user connected to a service point admin, which is the main or the, the server. A service point computer is, re is required if you have more than one computers in your place of business. So now that we know what a service point and what a service point admin means, let us go ahead to continue our installation procedure. So before you are able to log in as a service point admin from here, you have to install other components. And after you've been installed other components, you're going to have to open your port. So let's go ahead to install other components. Let's click on install other components. 
so you should get this message windows installer preparing to install so we'll have to be patient please wait while windows configures my sql installer But for you to set up all this, you are going to have to be online. You're going to have to be connected. For this first setup, you will have to be connected to the internet. So while this is going on, I'm going to try to connect my system to the internet to get this set up. So right here, I'm, we're going to wait for the my SQL installer to pop up. And from there, we can continue the installation procedure. All right. After you're going to have to notice on your taskbar here, there's a new pop up here. So you click on it. You have to um, pay attention while you're installing not to miss it. So you click on it and then just follow exactly everything I'm going to be saying and you'll be fine. So right here, I'm going to click on server only and I'm going to click on next. So the status I have here for my SQL server is ready to install. So I'm going to click on execute. So you can see the progress right here. It's currently installing and then it can update us here, as you can see, with the progress of the installation. So we're on 50% right now. 60. almost done all right this is complete so I click on next ready to configure I click on next so you don't have to do anything here just click on next so authentication method there are two methods right here but the first one is recommended so you just leave it checked and click on next if it's not checked for any reason you have to check the first one this first circle here and click on next so you have to set up your account password right here your root um, database password and mind you you have to store this password in a secure place you have to write it down so you will not forget because you require it to open your port so right here I'm going to set a password for it a very simple password that I can remember one two three four five six seven eight then I'm going to repeat it here one two three four five six seven eight so I'm going to click on next so I have that password set already so we have different um, wrong window service here so the, you're going to have to leave it as standard system account and then you click on next. So these are configuration steps. You need to click on execute for, for the execution of the steps. Execute right here. So first one is done. All right, we are done and that is that for other components so right here I'm going to click on finish and then I'm going to click on next and then click on finish again and that is it we have successfully installed other components that will ensure the successful running of the software so the next thing we need to do now as a service point admin is to open our port Click on open port. These are just one time um, operations you need to on the go. So once you click on open port, it brings you to a kind of command prompt CMD interface where you enter the root password you set earlier on. So what the password I sent was one to eight, and I'm going to type it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just type your password and click on and uh, hit enter on your keyboard. Immediately you finish entering your password, hit enter on your keyboard, and then 
hit enter again when you get a message like this my sql port has been deleted from firewall policy my sql port has been added to firewall policy if you get this message you can go ahead if you don't get the message it's probably because you are entering the wrong password so just hit enter again and that is that we have successfully opened our port so now this is how you set up your service point admin so after that is set up you enter your username and password maiden is my username and password so my password and i'm going to say i'm logging in as service point admin so once you do that you're going to have you're going to see this connected here for you to know that okay your fit for connection other service points can connect to you you must see this connected right here so once that is done i click on login i have the wrong password click on login right so you're going to get this message welcome and then you're going to get this wait we are setting up your account and it takes some time make sure you are still connected to the internet this is very very important so you get this message for the first time um, you're logging into the software it doesn't take much time depending on your on your on your network and the quantity of products you have on the web application so right here i'd like to log out and re log in again so we can get it clearly enter your username and password select service point admin make sure there's connected here and then you click on login And it brings you up here so right here you can see we have different interfaces we have different functionalities as a service point admin you can also sell you can view your sales over rough by clicking on sale here you can monitor your users from here and your database from here so you can also do a lot of things this is just a a video to show installation procedure we'll have another video on how to use everything you can see right here so thanks for watching in the next video i'm going to create how you can log into a service point how you can connect a service point to a service point admin so the service point admin here is the one that can synchronize sales manually with this with the manual synchronization button which we're going to look at in the video proper so thanks for watching this video i look forward to seeing you in the next thank you